Hi there, we're here at Hard Rock Hell with the guys from Voodoo Vegas. Hello. Oh, hi. hi. And we just wanted you to tell us a bit about yourself. What have you been up to before Hard Rock Hell today? Well, we just drove here from Telford and last night we stayed in the hotel. How was the day? In, in, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. No, it was great. And, oh, no, anyway, we've been busy. Yeah, we very busy. Just um, last two weeks ago, we played Winter's End Festival for Planet Rocks. So that was quite cool. And now we're here. So, very good. Quite exciting. Two good profile shows in yeah. the course of a few weeks. So how was Winter's End for you guys? That was gigs as our hometown, so nice. It was amazing, 12 o'clock on a Saturday afternoon. Yep. It was packed, it was awesome. That's good. And they wasn't very busy, played a few songs, lights came out, oh this is really busy. Yeah, uh, and they had this wicked good ball pit and, and like a slide where you could slide down into the balls. Oh my so God. me and John went in that after we played, so hopefully here at this Haven Holiday Park I reckon they might have two or three of them. So we're really I have heard that. that there are some grab it's machines over here where yeah, you can run some time. That'd be good. And stuff. So yeah, there's possibly. There's a play park out there as well I know. I'm very excited. Game. That's yeah. the only reason we do a band really, yeah. is because we can get an excuse to go to play parks that are around. Yeah, yeah, some swans on boats might see you for Yeah, <laughs> come, come and film it, it'd be yeah, great. Yeah, we should have done an interview there. We should have, oh, I don't think of it. Cut. Yeah, yeah, we should have done that. Um, so you're playing Hard Dark Hell later today. Yeah. How are you feeling about it? Very excited. Awesome. First time. First time. Yeah. Yep. Um, playing twice this weekend. Actually playing in the VIP area tomorrow. So. Yeah. Is that an acoustic set? Or yeah. Still electric. No acoustic. Acoustic, acoustic, acoustic electric. So. A well, little bit of both. So yeah. Good. Looking forward to that. Have you got any surprises planned for us at Hard Dark Hell? Any. Well, if you haven't seen us before, it's all a surprise. That is true. That is true. So, have you seen us before? I haven't. Quite so it's going to be a huge it's surprise. Be a You'll be like, wow, I'm surprised. Those guys were amazing. Would I be surprised that you're amazing? No. No. I should be expecting that you're going to be amazing. I think you'll be expecting we're amazing, and you'd be surprised how amazing. How amazing? It is. Yeah. Yeah, the extent of the amazing. Yeah. A couple of songs in the acoustic set that don't come out to play much, so that's, uh, that's going to be. Yes. Good. They're always fun to play. So, yeah. Yeah. We're going to be playing our new. We got a new single coming out in a few weeks. Um, it's a song called Sleeping in the Rain and we'll play it as an acoustic track we're going to really play it tomorrow and it's a song that we've written about uh, homelessness and we're going to re release it and raise money for crisis for the homeless charity Amazing. so that's going to be quite cool to play tomorrow yeah that'll be good to hear as yeah. well because you know you don't get a chance to play acoustic songs all that often no we don't I like it because I can really like ha ha the singing yeah. you know? Yeah, really you can probably go for it, but yeah, yeah. Like, feel a little bit self-indulgent. Yes, very much so. <laughs> yeah. um, so you've toured extensively throughout the UK. You and can Europe, name and shame and each other, or you can name and shame other band mates that aren't here. Who is the worst to be on tour with, and why? John, do you know them get out of bed early enough? <laughs> I'm about about a minute or two later than everyone else, and because that's the end of the world. It is. Yeah. It's tragic. Yeah. yeah. Time but police. I think once it was when we were Madeira, I got you had to go at me, and it was like I was getting a sandwich for everyone. That's the reason I was two minutes late. I figured we had about two hours sleep, and I had this plate of sandwiches from the ride of the night before. So I was leaving the hotel, I thought maybe everyone would like something to eat. Yeah. A minute late. Why are you so late? I'm like, I'm the time piece. Getting a sandwich <laughs> So did you get a sandwich? Did no, we just throw them out? away because we didn't want to put them through the x-ray machine at the airport. Yeah, I'm so not sure how that goes. That was a shame, so yeah. that was, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure how x-ray sandwiches would be. No, it's better than the term vegetarian. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I would not recommend that. Um, so you, I know that you've had a lineup change in yeah. February. Yeah. You had a new drummer. Mike's over there. Yeah. Mike. Okay. In fact, he's, 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 yeah, he played hard rock. He's played hard rock hell before. Ah. It's the second time for him. So, so yeah. So how is that? How's the new lineup going? It's great. It's very positive. Um, the the energy in the band is super positive, and the negative energy isn't here anymore. So we're oh. all very happy. Yeah. So it's, it's totally changed the kind of vibe then. Yes. Right, right up. Hundred percent. It's very good, we're all very, you know, brilliant, love it. All, not that we weren't happy before, but yeah. it's like, you know, different, different layers, layers of happiness, I think. Yeah. And do you feel like that's affected your creativity? Or do you I feel think like it will, we haven't had long, because obviously Mike's only, this is Mike, probably jam with us four weeks ago tonight, his first time. Really? So, and since then he's played some quite, you know, yeah. good good and big gigs, and he's straight in it, straight into it. So, once it's time to, um, start writing I think it will be very conducive to writing a fantastic third album yeah so um, I want to know about your favorite bands and influences um, for yourself and also for the band overall me uh, mine's definitely Aerosmith I love you know it's, uh, I love Aerosmith I love Steven Tyler's singing yeah and, and I really like John Bon Jovi as a front man so I'm quite a front man that gets the crowd going or I try so you know and um, I like I like all that you know, and they're singing yeah. Stephen Tyler's amazing singer and they're my biggest influence I think yeah but I'm sure get some criticism that I just don't think it's deserved 
Yeah, man, you know, it's not so much the big poofy hair stuff, but just think he's such a wicked front man. Yeah. He's so good getting the crowd going. Like Bruce Springsteen as well. Yeah. He takes a lot of influence from Bruce Springsteen, so. And then I'd like, you know, Bruce Springsteen, I saw him a few years ago at the Olympic Stadium. Yeah. That was amazing. So good. And he does a crazy long time. Yeah, it's like three and a half hours. Yeah. You get, yeah. like, you properly get. Yeah. Yeah. a whole experience when you go so you got to, for me I definitely take a lot of influence from that on my stage performance mm. you know. so we can expect that from your three yes. hour set absolutely three hours <laughs> and then they'll cut us off but we'll just but you keep playing we'll go out yeah. on those swan boats out on the lake and start playing there it'll be awesome yeah. it'll be lovely and just last but not least can you tell us what you're going to be up to post hard rock hell we've got a third album in the works We'll start writing the third album. We've yes. got lots of gigs this summer. Yeah, focusing on the summer at the moment, festivals. So. God, we got our first gig in Slovi uh, Estonia. Oh, that was cool. In July and Latvia as well. So mini, little mini two dates in Latvia and then a festival in Estonia. Which should be good. And some festivals in Germany. Probably going to Sweden in September. So we go abroad a lot. Yeah. This is quite, I mean, this and Winter's End actually are the first two what you would call like profile UK rock mm -hmm. festivals we've ever played and we've been going for quite a while. Yeah. It's quite a weird one but... Yeah because you have been established for quite some time but then like for that to be your first kind of... I know. But you know it's good to be here not, yeah. not complaining. Not complaining. We're here now. Yes. Cool. Better so, late than never. Exactly so definitely more in Europe for you guys heading for summer. I think that's uh, always a, the, the main route for Foodie Vegas but that's not all saying we don't want to do stuff in... Yeah in the UK. In the UK. The club dates, but yeah. Around all, all, all between that as well. Yeah, so yeah, we, we do. We'll still be playing. We'll be playing all over the UK, and in the summer we'll go away and do some festivals in Europe, and hopefully some in the UK as well. Cool. Well, thanks for chatting with us today. And Thank the you. last thing hopefully that we have to do box. is a Hard Rock Hill chant. If you're up for it after three, we shout Hard Rock Hill. Are you guys up for it? Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So one, two, three. Hard, Hard Rock, Rock Hill. Hill!